Fred Mopple from Frost Heath, New Hampshire. You know, lots of folks have been asking how we are doing during this pandemic. And really, we're doing fine, folks. We've been mostly staying home, skipping social events, not shaking hands with anybody, not even speaking to anybody unless it's absolutely necessary. In other words, nothing has changed. <laughs> we're Yankees. That's just the way we always behave. The tavern at the Peabody Inn is open again, and uh, Elwood Peabody, he always likes to come up with new kinds of drinks. He invented a drink just for the pandemic called the Quarantini. It's a shot of vodka, a shot of rum, and a shot of orange juice, all served in separate shot glasses, and you have to drink it by yourself. The Frosties Market is open, and they're dealing with the pandemic. They tried having senior hours where only seniors could come in and do their shopping, but the problem is that just about everybody in the town of Frosties is a senior, so senior hours are basically all day long. <laughs> they're also doing curbside pickup these days. Here's your order, Fred. Thank you. All marked down, dented cans, just like uh, you. Thank you, thank you. And your National Geographic. All right, all right, you don't have to broadcast it. Hello, Fred Marple here. Excited to tell you about my new magazine, Fred Marple's Indoors. That's right, it's a magazine for those of you who is never all that interested in going outdoors anyway. We'll provide handy household tips, like the best way to rearrange your pantry, again. You won't want to miss our articles on sofa safety and how to prevent repetitive snacking syndrome. Plan a trip to the Museum of Culinary Antiquities, also known as the back of the refrigerator. Fortunately, the pandemic has not affected our gardens. And once again, we are getting a bumper crop of zucchini. <laughs> you know, there's something about New Hampshire's soil, it just loves zucchini. And, well, the thing about zucchini is, it's a vegetable that even its own mother wishes would leave home. But we have got a ton of zucchini this year. Folks don't even know what to do with it. So we've been collecting zucchini for a zucchini bank. And in the coming winter, we will be distributing zucchini to folks who need, you know, a little zook assistance. Folks are trying to figure out a safe way to send the kids back to school. You know, back in the day, getting ready for school, we just had to have pencil, a notebook, and enough shopping bags to cover our books. <laughs> These days, kids have to have pencils, paper, crayons, markers, colored folders, and enough glue sticks to build a scale model replica of the state capitol. And of course, nowadays, they got to have masks and uh, bleach wipes and tissues and probably their own personal hazmat suit. But here in Frosty's, moms have figured out their own way to keep their kids safe as they go back to school. The pandemic has been tough on the town's economy. All the major businesses in town are closed. The Frost Eve House of Pizza, the Bait and Beauty Salon, uh, Edith's Knitting Nook, uh, even the barber shop is closed. Some of the men in town got so desperate for haircut they've been cutting their own hair, which may explain the unusual headgear for this time of year. See if I get this technology working here. Just waiting for everybody to show up so we can get this meeting started. Oh, good, there's Max. Max is so good, he's always right there on time. Hi, Max. Listen, I know this is not your kind of thing, but we got to have these meetings every once in a while, and what with the quarantine, this is the only way we could do it. Oh, and I see you got midnight with you. Now, Rocky, you know, just mind your own beeswax. He can hang out with whoever he wants. The library is closed, but our librarian is still trying to figure out how to deliver services. 
Unfortunately, we are not on the information superhighway in Frosties. We are not even on a connecting road to the information superhighway. We are kind of on a, a dirt back road to the information highway, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Consequently, our librarian, Mamie, has been having to come up with her own unique way of doing the town-wide reading program. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. The town dump is open. Unfortunately, the swap shop is closed. You know, that's the place where folks take stuff they don't need anymore, but it's too good to throw away. <laughs> that's my favorite place. That, that's where I do all my Christmas shopping. Well, right now, what with the swap shop closed, the junk is really building up in all of our houses. We're having what I call junkular proliferation. <laughs> the way we're dealing with that is, well, every night we take the junk we don't want, we put it on a neighbor's porch. In the morning, you go out and see what's there. If you don't want it, you put it on the next neighbor's porch. Uh, we figure eventually all the unwanted junk will make its way to the edge of town and then we'll be shut of it. Well, that's what's happening in Frost Heaves, New Hampshire. Hope you are staying safe in your town. My name is Fred Mopple, and I thank you for your attention. <laughs>